G'day guys, Greg here. Now, here I am today at Hungry Jack's. Now, I looked on their phone app and today they've got a special, two chicken royales for five bucks. <laughs> now, I don't think I've reviewed a chicken royale before, so how about we go and grab one, or two, for five bucks, and see how good they are. Let's go get them. All right, well, here we go. The two chicken royales for five bucks. Mate, what a bargain. Or is it? It could be absolute rubbish. Now, I don't even think I've had a chicken royale before, so I can't wait to see what we get on it. I hope it's a royale with cheese, but we'll find out. Let's have a look. Oh! Okay, Royales, let's hope it's got cheese, because I just like saying Royale with cheese. All right, here we go, well a sesame seed bun, looks like some mayo and lettuce, a piece of processed fried chicken. Not that fried chicken that they keep advertising, it's the different fried chicken. And some more mayo. What? No cheese! Maybe this one's got cheese. Please have cheese. Please, please for cheese. Anyway, they might be really tasty. Even without cheese, but I doubt it. Well, let's see firstly what this chicken tastes like. Bland. Mega processed. Hardly any flavor. That's exactly what I was hoping it wouldn't taste like. <laughs> But maybe with all that mayo and lettuce, which is the only other things that's on this, it might taste awesome. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Mmm. Mmm. The mayo is the only thing that's saving this burger. And I think for the first time in my life I've got a fresh bun. It's actually quite doughy and chewy, so it's like a mayo chicken chewy chewing gum burger. Mm. Mm -hmm. Whoa, mate, that is chewy. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be or if you really want it to be. But because it spends so much time in your mouth, it sort of tastes half all right. Mm. Well, that's one down, and am I impressed so far? You better believe I aren't. But the second one might taste better. Tastes exactly the same. Oh, well, I think I've had enough of them now. I know what score they're getting. Out of ten. Well, the chicken royale on its own is only a three dollar burger, so it's not exactly one of their most expensive burgers. And I reckon for three bucks, that's probably pretty good value. But two for five bucks is even better value. But do they taste any good? Well. That piece of chicken on there, very bland, very boring, no flavour, not juicy. It could be a piece of cardboard with some chicken salt on it as far as I know, but the only thing to save in this burger is all that mayo on there. That mayo is actually really nice tasting and it drowns out all the other flavours that you don't really want to taste. But combined with the lettuce and that chicken on there, mate, it actually tastes okay. And with that chewy bun and chewiness about it, 
It's a fried chicken chewing gum sort of flavour in your mouth with heaps of mayo and some crunchy lettuce. What more do you want? Maybe a chicken burger with half decent flavour. The size of it was okay and you know, for two burgers, five bucks, mate. Find me somewhere else you can do that, I'm sure you can. But for this Hungry Jack's $5 for two chicken royale special, for its all over flavour, all over value, all over taste, all over everything score, I reckon it deserves a... Pretty gross. Six out of ten. These burgers are all right tasting, and uh, well, I probably would never come back and actually buy another one ever again on its own. But if I'd just come out of a prison camp and hadn't eaten for two or three months, except for a couple of cockroaches on the floor, then I reckon one of these might taste all right. I purposely wouldn't go in to ever buy a chicken royale, no way. But two five bucks for two burgers, it's an all right value, and I reckon if you went and got it, you'd probably enjoy it. Anyway, that's today's food review. Have you tried the Chicken Royale? I reckon it would have been great with cheese. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I eat a Royale with cheese. If they ever make one, I'll come and get one. No worries. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the reviews are fingerly.